Hey everyone! Okay, so today I have a pretty big Ulta haul. And mainly it's a lot of nail polish. And so I decided to like combine this, like the stuff that I got from Ulta and all the nail polishes I got from Ulta combined with all the nail polish that I've gotten, you know, in the recent past. And I don't know if it's all the nail polish, but it's quite a lot. So you're gonna see a lot. Let's get started. Ulta homie. Anyway, let's go through the stuff that isn't nail polish so we can do all the nail polish together. Does that sound good? A nice organized fashion, at least kind of. Anyway, here we go. First of all, I have the Ardell Precision Lash Curler. I've had like two or three of these. I don't know why I keep buying them, but I keep buying them. I want to get a fancy one. I know I'm supposed to get the Shumar one like everyone and their dog because it's, you know, a majestic eyelash curler. Um, but yeah, I bought another one of these because they're like $3 or something ridiculous. And yeah, here it is. Um, next up, I got one of my all-time favorite dry shampoos. This is the Batiste, and it is in the scent Blush. The pink one. Some people don't like this scent. I like this scent. It was the first dry shampoo I ever used, and it seemed to be before the whole dry shampoo craze and this is just one that I found in Sally's it's really inexpensive it does have kind of a strong scent and there are other drugstore options that I really like but this is one of my original favorites and I saw it and I think it was a special so I got a pretty good deal and so I thought why not get this anyway I'm rambling anyway this was the dry shampoo I included when I did my don't wash your hair video and yeah that was a really long time ago since then I found more favorites but yeah. next up this one's whoa is this essence Sun Club matte bronzing powder and it is the darker shade which is the shade for brunettes yes it is um really scary dark like oh that is really, really, really dark, so you have to use a super light hand. Yes, there is a blonde version, but it looked really orangey, so I didn't go for that. I am falling in love with the Essence brand. I have, like, two lipsticks, and I have some new nail polishes. I'm really into the Essence brand. It's so inexpensive. I'm just trying to explore their products, and so I went for this, and I'm liking it so far, but I do have to use a really light hand. Definitely matte definitely really 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 dark but I like it another product that I got is the prestige prestige brow perfection it's a brow building system yeah so basically it's like a little like mascara for your eyebrows and I got it in I think I got it in the dark one yeah this one's medium to dark and it looks like this one side is a tinted like gel and you just like brush it on and then the other side which I've actually never used this is supposed to be a setting gel um, and I've never found that it rubs off or anything so I've never been compelled to use the setting gel although my eyebrows are crazy and they're like long and they're like not the same consistency as regular eyebrows like I know other eyebrows are like kind of like wiry or coarse or something do you know what I mean am I crazy but mine on the other hand are like regular hair it's just like soft and fluffy I got crazy eyebrows I'm like I need to trim them they're like long and fluffy <laughs> this seems to work for me I'm really all about brows I do kind of use this with a combination of a pencil I'm I'm pretty into this too I've been using it pretty consistently I have it on now and I think it's um a little bit more natural than just doing it with the pencil so testing it out. I feel like that is all that was like not nail polish. So now we're launching into like mega nail polish takeover. Oh no, I forgot to swatch these. Okay. I made this awesome, whoa, I made this awesome little color wheel nail polish swatch thing and I forgot to put these little polishes in. This is the Essie Wedding Collection Cube and they're just minis of the whole wedding collection and I forgot to swatch them, sorry. But yeah, we'll get to these in just a moment. All right, so wedding collection, blah, blah, blah. Actually, it seems that they didn't include one that I thought was in the collection. It was this really neat iridescent, um, really light color. Um, so that's unfortunate, but I really went for the blue. It's like an almost white blue. 
I'm not sure if you're seeing that true to color, but hopefully you are. That is called Borrowed in Blue. So creative. Okay, and then there's two like really, really, really similar colors. And this one's a little bit of more like a beigey ballet slipper pink. And this one is called Made to Honor. And this more pinky sheer color is Better Together. And I'll show you these together because I feel like that's a good idea. Kind of boring. Okay, and then this red. Ooh, isn't it awesome? These two colors. I love the other two. I could do without. And this one's called First Dance. I really have been feeling the need to do my nails red, and I definitely want to. Okay, so let's get to these colors. Yay! I felt so prepared doing this. First color is Orly, and it is called Galaxy Girl. Ugh, I am a little underprepared though because I don't remember like all the collections that they came from and stuff, which is really sucky. So I just looked it up. All right, I have this color on my toes right now and I absolutely love it. Here is the swatch I made. It is like super, super, I don't know what the little terms are, but I think it's like duochrome or something. And it's kind of like a reddish purple with like blue shimmer. Very cool. Another one from this same collection. Oh, I forgot to say. The collection is from 2010, fall 2010. It's the Cosmic FX. I don't know about it, but I liked it. I had never seen these before. And they were $10, which I was a little upset about, but it doesn't matter. I actually have this color on my nails right now. It's this one. It is also Orly, and it's called Space Cadet. Love these two so much. This one reminds me of like carnival glass, rodeo glass, I don't even know. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, you don't. Whatever. <laughs> Next up, it's an OPI color, and this one is from like a more current collection. It is the Miss Universe or Miss USA. I am so bad with this, you guys, but you know better than I do, but it's Miss USA, Miss Universe, or whatever, and it's called It's My Year, and it's kind of just a purpley color with like gold flecks, which is quite nice, very pretty. Right, next up is yet another metallic. I didn't get this one at Ulta. I got this one at HEB, which is a grocery store if you're not in Texas grocery store. It's a L'Oreal color and it is called 333 Whimsical and it is just a pink kind of like a rose gold-ish tone. It's just like a metallic pink which is really pretty and I've actually already worn this one. Right, next up is a Revlon color. You know I love Revlon colors and this one is from a collection. I have to look it up now. Okay, <laughs> finally found it. Okay, this collection where I got these two Revlon polishes is called the Edgy Elegance. It was like in a little display and I think it had like Halle Berry on it or something, but they're all like metallics and I didn't get any of the fun colors. I got like a like champagne-y metallic and then like a white metallic. And the first one is Caddy. It's the more champagne colored one and it looks like this. It's this one. And I haven't worn this one yet. And the next one, I actually have worn this one and I don't really like it. I know, because it kind of comes off gray and I wasn't expecting that. So I'm not that crazy about this one and it's called Aloof. And that's what it looks like. Keep in mind, these nails are like white to begin with. And so obviously that's a different kind of uh, base that you don't have on your natural nails. So yeah, it's kind of just a white metallic. Next up is the Revlon color that was, you know, debated on forever. It was the biggest debate of the century. <laughs> Not really, but I mean, some people said it was, some people said it wasn't a dupe for the newest Chanel color. And I don't remember what that one's called. I think it's graphite and this one's called carbonite. And I have put this one on my toes and I do like it. And it's just a metallic -y gray color, honestly. Not that special, <laughs> but I did look for it a lot just because I like to feed into hype. It's a problem. Anyway, moving on. Yet another Revlon polish and it is like bright pink. And I've had this one for a while, but I didn't share it with you and I haven't worn it, which is embarrassing. And it's called number 185 Sweet Tart. And it kind of makes me think like Barbie, 
uh, Nicki Minaj, you know what I mean. How much do you love it? I love it. I don't care that it's fall. Next up is another Orly color, and I'm assuming this one is old too, because it's kind of off by itself, but I like it. It's called Gilded Coral, and it's just kind of like a coral color, super light coral color that has like a lot of gold in it. I hope this little system is working for me. I can't find what the collection is called and I want to say it's called Carry On, but I don't know. Sorry, Essie. But yeah, this is the, I think, fall collection for Essie. And not gonna lie, I haven't worn either of these. I found them at CVS. They're kind of boring. They're kind of muted colors, which makes me upset. I don't know why I bought them, but I did. All right, this one's kind of like a sort of a rosy purple muted meh pink and it is called ladylike oh how perfect and the next one is just like a brown which i think i like this one a little bit more than the muted pink it's called case study it's pretty interesting looking there is another color i don't know where it is though okay and those are the only ones that i have swatched here and i believe there are more I know there's another color in here. Ah, okay. So I don't have this one swatched, but it's from like the Pirates of Caribbean collection and it's called Skull and Gloss Bones. I'm sure you've seen this one. It's kind of like a grayish white. I don't know why I bought this, but I bought it. Yay. And the last two polishes are both Essence and they're just like top coats that like, you know, add an effect. The first one is a matte top coat. I am pretty sure the whole matte thing is still in. I always avoided it. I kind of think it's gross, but this polish was like really inexpensive. It was at Ulta and it just turns whatever polish you have into a matte polish. And I figure like why buy a matte polish if you can just buy a top coat and it turns your whole collection into matte if you want, you know? So I haven't worn this, but I imagine it works. No, I've, I've swatched it on one nail over some polish and it definitely worked. Um, I can't tell you how much I liked it though, but yeah, it's just called the Essence Matte Coat. And then the other Essence is called the Nail Art Special Effects Topper. And this one, I'm not sure if it's, you're going to be able to see, but it's just kind of like holographic with like a blue. So it comes out clear, but it kind of just gives an extra like sheen of like holographicness. And I put it over. Essie Sweet Talker because I was wearing that whenever I bought this and it added like there is a little bit of a sheen to that polish but it just like amped it up which was very cool and so I definitely really like this on top of a blue polish and I'm sure it will work on every polish ever. <laughs> Alright so definitely like this. Alright so yeah that was an obscene amount of polishes. I'm actually um actually I was very 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 embarrassed and I was like talking on Twitter and I was like ah, I don't know what I just did and I, I mean I went way overboard it's just too many but yeah I don't even know what to say I love polish I hope you do too tell me question for you guys tell me what are your favorite colors for fall comment down below and let me know if you have any other questions comment down below and let me know that as well you can always find me on twitter it is at leanne says and yeah that's about it for me and so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye everyone <laughs> okay let me like write this crap down next time why do i suck so much i know these things So, yeah. Okay, I'm thinking, um, all right. It's like, hey y'all. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, next up. Oh my gosh, oh, okay. Um, I think it's from Germany. I don't know. Um, okay. Okay, so let's start. But um, and these are this is the Essie's wedding wedding collection cube. This is the um 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 anyway. 
All right, so, oh, okay. Um, I actually got this one at HEB, which is a drugstore if you're not, <laughs> it's not a drugstore, sorry. With, um, and, well, maybe that one's more rose gold. I don't know. And this is jet, all right, I don't know. Dude, I can't find what this one's called. The, and, um, um, oh, here it is. So, yeah, I think that's it.